Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today we're doing another makeup tutorial because Too Faced has released their Gingerbread Spice Palette and it's so beautiful. Oh, it's upside down! And let's try that again. The Gingerbread Spice <laughs> Palette from Too Faced. I actually don't own any of Too Faced's like chocolate bars or anything. Too Faced was actually one of the very first high-end companies that I bought from, so I don't have anything against it. I just have never bought any of their chocolate bars. But I saw this come out on Ulta.com and I ended up ordering it. I couldn't resist. So today we're going to be diving into this palette and recreating today's look. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to dive into some colors here and see how I felt about the palette. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. I'm using my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer to prime my face. For a moment, I apologize. I I didn't realize that my video wasn't um, recording, so I don't know where it left off. But for foundation, I was just using the Do You in Snow, and then I'm going in with concealer with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and that's as far as I've gotten. Whoops, sorry about that. I am now using my Fit Me Translucent Powder to set underneath my eyes using my Damp Beauty Sponge, and also wherever I apply that cream concealer. Then I'm gonna go in using my Air Spun Translucent Powder, same sponge, and I'm gonna pack this on the rest of my face. Quickly doing brows off camera, I'll be right back. Brows are done, so I'm going to set them using my e.l.f. brow gel. Now it's finally time to dive into the palette for the first time. The first thing that I noticed when I opened up this palette was the smell. It smelled like gingerbread, it smelled like holiday, it was so amazing. On a fluffy brush, I'm picking up the color called gingerbread and I'm going to sweep this in my crease. With a Morphe 502 brush right in my crease, I'm gonna sweep a little bit of gingerbread latte, which is just a little bit darker. Again, blending this out, but really not blending it up any farther than my socket. All over my lid with a flat shader brush, I decided to pack on O oh Snap. And to deepen up my outer V just a little bit, still using the Morphe brush, I'm taking the color called Spice is Nice. I wanted to use white on my waterline today because I am going for a darker look and I always, always always just prefer a lighter waterline on myself. To highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to be using this shimmery white shade called Frostbite Me. Then with a pencil brush, going back into Gingerbread Latte, I'm going to sweep this underneath my lash line. Then one more time with the Morphe brush, I'm picking up Spices Nice again and sweeping this right underneath Gingerbread Latte. I'm going to create my wings using some liquid liner and then add two coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic. I'm popping a couple of wispy lashes on. I tend to double stack my lashes so they're a little bit fuller. Then moving back to the face, I'm going to take some butter bronzer. And yes, this is a new one, but I'm going to sweep this all over my contour areas. For blush today, I'm actually going into my Narcissist palette. And I'm picking up the shade called Buzzed on a big powder brush and just sweeping this on my cheeks to add a little flush of color. To highlight, I'm still using my favorite highlighter at the moment, which is Anastasia's Amorezzi. I also decided to add a little bit of mascara to my falsies because these were a new pair and I tend to do that. For my lips, I decided to go with ColourPop's Times Square liquid lipstick, but it was a little too dark for what I wanted for today's look, so I added Anastasia's Milkshake on top of it to lighten the whole look. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I love this palette. The smell was so amazing. Even as I was just blending out the eyeshadows, it, it, was, it just smelled so good. The eyeshadows are extremely pigmented and creamy. All the ones that I used today, I was really satisfied with. But there are a ton of other colors that we didn't get to use today, so I'm looking forward to doing more makeup looks using this palette. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and show me by leaving a thumbs up on the video. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe and that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.